We know that when a woman's empowered, it helps.
oxygen and get everything under the sun. Free open mind. Free Amen. 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 Before we move forward, we ask that out of respect that if you have your phone, please put it on vibrate or something. Amen. 
We're gonna proceed with the service as it is outlined. Eternal Father, Creator, Redeemer, my way maker. We come humbling ourselves under your authority, Father God. In this sad occasion, we still give you the praise and we still give you the glory. We thank you for the years you allowed our brother to walk on this earth. We ask comfort for his mother and all of the family right now in the name of your son, Jesus. We pray, Father, that thou would strengthen her. We pray that thou would comfort her. We pray that you would bring them through yet this moment, Father God. We put our trust in you knowing that you make no mistakes, Father God. So we thank you. We humble under your will that your will would be done, Father God. And we give you the praise. And you give you the glory. In the name of thy son, Jesus, let every heart say. Amen. Amen. At this time, I think we have Sister Diane down for our old and new scripture. And after she finished with the old and new scripture, Brother well, Everson, who's doing the solo, will please follow after her. Amen. My cousin Keely, you know, and uh, sing a little song. Y'all know it, y'all just hit me with it. Lord, whatever you're doing in the season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. I said, Lord, 
Whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. You just tell them for yourself. Say, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without Keith Lee. Don't do it without Keith Lee. Come on, help me, y'all. Don't do it without Keith Lee. Whatever you do, Lord, don't do it without Keith Lee. Lord, we need you right now. Don't do it without Keith Lee. Whatever you do, Lord, don't do it without Keith Lee. Give him his peace, Lord. Don't do it without Keith Lee. Lord, we need you right now, Jesus. Without Keith Lee. Amen. At this time, we have reflections that the program that says please limit to two minutes. This is my, something my son wanted me to share with the family. He said, good morning, family. I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time. He said, uh, just want to drop a few lines for Keely. Would have thought that one of our favorites would be leaving so early. They say for a righteous person, the best day in existence is the day you go to and meet your maker. For a simple person, that day is a dreadful and woeful day. Where are you at with the Creator? The whole purpose in life is to find your purpose and worship God until the day he calls you home. Amen. However, and whenever that day may be, my Uncle Keely was an Edison. And like most Edisons, he was good at energy and an outgoing, down-to-earth kind of guy. A collard green and neck bone type of dude. <laughs> Just like his father, our beloved Pop Man, I ain't really get to know my uncle until he got released from prison in around the late, early 2000s. I told him I thought thought you was like was a little Mexican when I first seen him sitting in my granddaughter's living room. <laughs> my first words to him after his 15 years, I believe he was my lightest uncle, brighter than George. He reminded me of my grandmother most when he laughed. Him, George, and Yam. He was humble and slow to anger. Me and Kitty never really bumped heads, but for this one incident, I don't even. We must know how we got to this point. All I can remember is him talking a whole lot of smack. <laughs> I didn't take that too tough to me. He was trying to pull one of my spades. So I told him we could go out in the front yard and sell our dishes. He was still going on at the mouth. So I got up, got in his face, and told him, man, if you don't stop going off at that mouth, we are gonna tear the front yard up. <laughs> but then, I'm outside the front door and he's standing, so I smush him in the face to initiate the fight. It turned out to go in a whole entirely different direction. <laughs> Instead of him coming out swinging like I thought he would, he said to me, said some unintelligible words to me that sounded like I'm going. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, he's a, uh, oh, he said it, uh, thought he would say some intelligent words to me, sounding like I'm going to get my gun. I got kind of wide eyed, like, shoot, I done let this man get the ups by going into the house. <laughs> All I have on is, is gym shorts and a tank top and no shoes. He went stalking off back into the house. To me, it looked like he was rummaging for something, AKA gun. Man, I took off so fast behind my grandmother's oak house like I was in the Olympics. I ended up a couple of streets behind her home, panting and out of breath. Surprised I didn't step on a snake or any, any cell spurs. I managed to get to their phone and call my uncle Yam and told him Keely was trying to kill me. <laughs> and man, that just took of him. I told him what happened. He just knew that Keely wasn't trying to kill me. I could persuade him no type of way that he, he was even. But I know for one thing, I learned to be ready for any and everything at any given moment. And to always keep your get right on. Our family outfit reminds me of those early westerns. They was the first gangsters to me. If you had a problem back in those days, you go out in the middle of town and the main boulevard and draw. Best man out of one. You better be you better be mean with a pistol. From the Edison to the Gordon to the Fletchers, ain't nothing like us. We all love you, Uncle Keely. I pray and hope that when my day comes, I get to reunite with you. But you already being at those pretty whites, holding it open for me. Love you, nephew. Boom boom. Will there be anyone else? <laughs> Amen. I was starting to sweat a little bit. Um, is that Kaiser? Yeah, that's you, man. Nah, that's uh, Kaiser. I'm, I'm in one other. Boy, y'all joke. Y'all jokers look so much alike. <laughs> Amen. Amen. everything. My first apartment, everything. He set the pace, the tone for everything I should receive in life from a man. I'm very grateful for that. He spoiled me. But he left when our baby was a year. And he did. 16 years, but we still remain friends. I still took all his phone calls, even though he fussed, and everybody know how he is when he argue and he fuss. And he called back to back to back. But when he came home, he still was the same towards me with my kids. He took all of them just like they were his, he kept them especially Paul, but to him it was Paul Paul. And to Paul it was j -Row. But Keely always called me and kept me updated on everything in his life. Tanya, you gotta come and fix this. You gotta call and see what is these people doing? You need to figure it out. I'm gonna miss that. And one thing I'm gonna miss the most is when he called me and say, Tanya, come get Lil Willie for a killing. <laughs> and I say, uh-huh. I done had 
that we loud is you. Right. It's your turn. Right. I ain't my turn. I'm gonna kill this little boy. I need a blood test. He ain't none of mine. <laughs> oh yeah, he ever spit of you. <laughs> but he always wanna kill it with. <laughs> and he'll bring him and dump him off to my house, and I pick him up and drop him right back. <laughs> but I just wanna say, his fight is over, and we're gonna miss him. Love you. Will there be anyone else that was standing here thinking Sugar Bay move kind of, you still moving pretty good there, old man. <laughs> Bad as you used to get a beating. <laughs> When we was coming up, we lived on basic court right next door to them. And we had a system. You looked out for one another, good or bad. A lot of time it was bad. <laughs> and my mama used to say, oh my God, they killing them boys over there. <laughs> and we talked one day and we, we didn't realize it, but we would be in the garage listening to them getting towed down. I mean, it was some screaming going on over there. And it wasn't long before they were leaning on the fence, listening to us getting towed down in the house. We throw rocks at each other. We harvest with each other. We did a lot of stuff with each other we had no business doing. But I gotta say at that time we had fun. It was what it was. Family. Hmm. Here today and gone tomorrow. When I walked in them doors and I'ma get ready to move on, all I saw was his daddy. Like, my goodness, he looked just like his daddy. Hmm. Here we are again. At this time, we're going to have a solo by Brother David, and then I'll come back. Amen. Amen. Going 
going up yonder to be with my Lord. Oh, I'm going up yonder. Going up yonder. I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. Amen. Amen. I'll be coming from Second Chronicles, seventh chapter, and one verse, verse fourteen. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 it reads as following. If my people which are called by my name yes. shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then will they heal from heaven and will be forgiven their sins and will heal their lands. Amen. God's words for God's people, eternal Father, creator, redeemer. I thank you right now for standing, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for being better to us than any of us been to ourselves, Father God. I thank you for our going out as well as our coming back in. Father, I thank you for the roof over our head and clothes on our back, shoes on our feet, food on our table. Thank you for a portion of a health and strength, Father God. Well, Father God, I pray that I would use me in the way that you want me to be led, Father God. And I'll give you the praise and I'll give you the glory because I know you are worthy to be praised. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. amen. and amen. Thank you, Lord. From a pastor, Pastor McLeod, to mother, to this family, to all that it takes to make up this congregation this morning. You realize how short life is, how precious life is. And sometimes it seems like just when you're starting to live, that's when God calls us home. My brother's book has been written. His final chapter has been finished. And his book on this side has been closed. There's nothing we can say to hurt him or do anything to him. Well, he has moved on to a better place. But for those of us that are still here, we find the words of the writer. And it reminded me many, many years ago when we decided to take a trip to Georgia, part of Georgia I had never been before. And in those days, you had to read maps. Mm -hmm. You didn't have that GPS and all that smartphones today. And some kind of way I got turned around. And my wife was a good map reader. I was just stubborn. And we went in a circle for about 25 minutes. We saw the front of the building. We saw the side of the building. We saw the other side of the building. We saw the back of the building about four or five times. And I could see my wife looking at me. And I knew I was lost. But I was too proud to say, I'm lost. Come on, brothers. All right. She just checking it out. We were lost. 
And she looked like she was ready to say something to me, but she saw the look in my face. I guess in her mind she figured, well, at least we got a full tank of gas. <laughs> so finally I slowed down and I pulled over and I said words I thought I'd never say. Baby, I'm lost. I need some help. Sweet as she was, she got out and went into the store and said, I'll get you something to drink. She went to get directions. Got the directions, we got back on track, and I listened to every single word she told me mm -hmm. to get us in the right direction. Amen. Life is similar to a road trip. Come on. Sometimes you know where you're going, and other times you have no clue. All right. Sometimes we are so stubborn we won't ask for any kind of help from anybody. Right. Even though we know we need the help. Right. Sometimes we rather just keep riding around in life, feeling out our, what happens, happens. So when we look here at the words, God's people had lost their way. And whether you believe it or not, every single one of us in here is God's children. Amen. You either have a relationship with them or you don't have a relationship with them. So he says, if my people would turn from their wicked ways and would return back to me, I'll heal them. I'll forgive them. All right. I'll bless them. All right. And out of that one verse I want to use for a topic for a few minutes, don't you think it's time for you to turn your life around? Amen. 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 A lot of y'all didn't know me by name, but you know me nickname Naughty. A lot of us broke bread together. A lot of us got in trouble together. But as time went back by, all of us went different ways. But when we find the words of the writer, he makes it plain. He wants everybody to know many are going to hear the words, but not everybody is going to take hold Amen. to the words. Amen. So the writer says, if my people, my God. that letting us know we have a choice. If you want something, uh, if you're looking for a better life, if you're looking for things to be better, uh -huh. the writer says, turn around. Come on. Amen. I, I don't care how bad you think you are, how educated you are, what neighborhood you live in, what kind of money you got, and when it's all said and done, all of us must stand before Almighty God. Come on. From the baddest of the bad to the least of the least. Every man, woman, and child must stand before God and give an account of this life. All right. The writer begs us to stop and turn around. Some of us are not young anymore. We some old men and women, let's just be honest. Some got a little more pep than others. Some of us ain't got much pep at all. all right. But that's life. Uh -huh. Amen. So the writer tells us, if my people, if you are willing to recognize that there is something greater in this world than you, And you are willing to humble yourself and ask God for forgiveness. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We have the encouraging words of God that say, I will forgive you. All right. I will give you rest. I will bless you. 
I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I love where I'm at today. I, I love I'm, I'm following the Lord. Am I perfect? Not even close to that, but I serve a perfect God. And every now and then, even being in the position I'm in, sometimes I turn uh, the wrong way. Amen. And God has to get my attention and say, uh, 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 all right, you know better than that. Uh, you done taught that. Uh, you done preached on that. Now you got to live what you preach. And every now and then, God got to pop me on my behind to get my rump. Back on track. Yes, sir. And sometimes we think we, because we got them titles. Come on. Come on. And we got that last name. And we got some initials after that little education. That, that, that. Can't nobody tell us anything. Come on. My God. Speaking the truth. But I don't know about you, but I am scared to be lost. Amen. I have come to the understanding that no matter how strong I am, how intelligent I am, I still need some help. Can I talk to somebody in this house? My eyes don't see like they used to be. My mind ain't like it used to be. I can't move like I used to be. And some days it is frustrating. But when you know even in those times I have a God that, that will make a way out of nowhere, I don't have to worry because I can tell God it is in your hand. See, no eyes man and woman know where the help comes from. Yes, uh -huh. And I'm not talking about help where you got that little bit of money. That money I don't last. Come on, so ever. Speak the truth. But he said, if you stop worrying about your friends, uh -huh. your homeboys, yeah. your group, uh -huh. and start worrying about you, when your life is over, what are you going to do? Because I need you to understand that when this is over, it's just the beginning of something else. You move from here to the next stage. And it is important that for man to die one time, but after that. So some days, Brother Kurt, I sit there and say, why am I doing what I'm doing? But in John, Jesus said, I go away to prepare a place for you. Well, there's no more sickness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's no more heartache, no, no more pain. There, there's no cancer, no diabetes, no AIDS, no monkey pop. There, well, there's nothing there but every day. That's right. Yes. He said, it'll be like Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. Imagine with me, family. No more sickness. Yes, Lord. No more heartache. My God. No more drama. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine on your best day of being peaceful day? Come on now. Hallelujah. God say that's what I have. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. I have something that mama can't give you. I have something that father can't give you. I have something your wife or your children can't give you. He said, what I give you, can't no man take it away. Glory to your master. He said, I come to offer you a better place. Yes. He said, but if you would only listen Thank you, Jesus. to my words. Amen. If you would only open up your heart, family, and humble yourself and say, Lord, I need you. Yes, Father. I need you, Lord. I need your help because I cannot do this on my own. Is there anybody ever said that? Many times I sat on the side of bed. I said, Lord, I, I, if you don't do it, my family don't, don't, don't get food. That's right. If it ain't for you, Father, we, we won't have a roof over our head. Thank you, Jesus. I, I got too much of people depending on me, Lord, and I can't do this Amen. on my own. Come on now. Yeah. I done tried it, and it ain't working. In every avenue I try to go, it's not working. But, God, if you would step in because you said you would never leave me. 
Not forsake me. You promise me when I'm a young till I get old, you'll be with me even to the ends of time. There are some days where it's not easy. This ain't easy. I don't care how much you prepare for death. Death is never easy. But it gives us a warning. He give us an insight yes. that if you would turn from your wicked ways, yes, I'm not going to stand here and tell you it's going to be easy. Yeah. I am not going to stand here and lie to you and tell you, boy, it's going to be the best. There's still going to be some struggles. Oh, yes. But the difference is I have somebody to help you. To help you. Somebody with an unlimited resource. Somebody that look past our faults and see our every need. Somebody that even when we mess up will still step in and work things out. Yes, sir. Glory to God. God said, I'll put a hedge of protection around you. And I'll bless you going out. Oh, and I'll bless you coming back in. That's what yeah. I read it, but I know that for myself. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Because I should have been locked up uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. behind prison walls. Yeah. It wasn't that I was so good. I just didn't get caught on some things. Yeah. But I still had some issues. Come on, somebody in this house. Oh, look at all he got. No, ma'am, no, sir. I had some issues. And sometimes I wonder if some of that stuff still open. Yes, come on. Oh, y'all don't hear me. But when God say, I'll blot it out. Yes, he will. I'll take care of you. Yes, he will. Yes, I got you when you're young, and God said, I got you when you're old. Yes, if you trust me, I'll order your steps. Yes, I'll bless you when they curse you. I'll give you my favor. I'll show up and I'll show out for you. And I'll work things out for you when it looked like uh, there have been some days when my money was short, but God still made sure bills was paid. Jesus. There were some days where it looked like they were ready to find on the job, but God said, hold your peace. Because yes. when you are connected with God, God will fight the battles for you. You don't have to argue with them. You don't have to get on Facebook with all that drama. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. All you got to do is fall on your knees, turn it over to God, and let God fight the battle for you. Yes, sir. But boy, God will put something on him. Yes, he will. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, he will. So the choice is yours. Uh -huh. Thank you, Father. The choice is yours. Thank you. God don't hold me accountable for your decisions. That's right. For the writer to say, if. If. That's right. Powerful word, if. My people. If you're tired of struggling, mm -hmm. if you're tired of fighting, mm -hmm. if you're tired of this and you're tired of it, God say, why don't you give your life to me? Amen. Amen. So I can show you the right way. Amen. David was bold enough and said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes, he is. And I shall have one. David made that thing personal. Ooh, my God. Yes, he did. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. Whatever I want, whatever I need, or whatever I don't have, my God will still provide. Amen. 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 Let the food go up, but my God provide. Come on. Now. Let the gas get high as it wants to. But my God provides. Yes, he does. 
Let the government act the fool and do whatever they want to do. But my God will provide. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody take care of you like Jesus. That is the sweetest name, you hear me, church, that I know. And I know if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I would be dead or either locked up behind prison wall. But I come this morning to tell you that if you would humble yourself and turn from your wicked ways and come to God, that God will heal you. God will forgive you. And I promise you, God will bless you. And God will make a way for you like you never thought before. But if you, thank you, Jesus, would come on the winning side. All right, amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. When you come, they still gonna talk about you. They still gonna have something to say. Tell the truth, Pastor. But boy, when you're on the other side, you really don't even care. Well, I believe the words say no weapon Come on. Amen. that is formed against me Amen. shall prosper. Amen. It didn't say it would be easy. Come on. But they are trying to set you up. Yeah. But God said it won't happen. Amen. Amen. They'll say something out there about you waiting for you to respond. But God say, hold your peace. Amen. Thank you. See, there's a difference when you fight and I fight and when God fight for you. Thank you. Jesus. See, when we fight, let Kona fight, we don't fight fair. Amen. I never heard of Lil Kona one-on-one fight. Because you hit me and my neighbor was next door, you got hit by them too. So you got a whole lot of people to fight. And you might win a few, but if one of them can get down there, Sugar Bay them can get down there to the Fletchers. <laughs> oh, come on, boys. Come on, come on, come on. In that word, get back up there on basic coat. We going to Franklin Park, and we going to turn that, oh, come on, we going to turn it out. Because that's how we did things. But I don't do them things no more. <laughs> I call on my best fighter that never lost a fight. This fighter can give sight to the blind. This fighter can make the lame man walk. This fighter that if you're dead can bring you back to life. This fighter can be bread when you're hungry. This fighter can be water when you're thirsty. This fighter goes by the title Son of the Living God. Omega, Alpha, and Omega. Known as the beginning and he known as the end. Nobody come before him. Yes, sir. He is that he is. Yes, and when you call on Jesus, Hallelujah. oh, I heard even your enemy yes. begins to shake and crumble. Amen. Amen. When you call on Jesus, you can just sit back and know everything going to be all right. Yes, Lord. When you are connected with the family of Jesus, you can walk with a little scratch. You can know that you're somebody. You can know that no matter what happened, come hell or high water, my God, come on, gonna fight the battle for me. And if that, by chance I lose, it's not because he didn't, because he's able to do everything. But the same Jesus that came down through 42 generations. Walk the streets of Jerusalem. The Bible says he healed the sick and he raised Thank the dead. Jesus. 
Nothing was wrong with them, but they found fault with them in spite of Put an old rugged crown of thorns around his head. And my Bible said, yes. they marched him out the gate up to Golgotha Hill. My God. Well, they nailed his hands and ribbon his feet. And he said, if you would lift me up, I'll draw all men. Yes, Jesus said, you can't take my life, but I'm going to lay my life down. If I call him a father, he'll send 10,000 angels that'll fight for me. He said, but for this cause, for this cause, Keely gonna need me. Mama gonna need me. Brother gonna need me. Sister gonna need me. Cousins and nieces and babies gonna need me. He said, but lift me up. And my Bible said that he looked up in heaven and said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? And the Bible said he laid his heads in the locks of his shoulder and he died. God turned his back on God. And let me give you a little history before I finish up. You see, when you was crucified, then they nailed your hands. My God, Jesus. I want you to understand that that was a torment death. That wasn't an instant death. They would suffocate. No food, no water. His shoulders was disconnected. But he said, for this cause have I came into this world. That we may have a right to the tree of life. Yes. And he said, I'm giving them the body. He said, Father, in your hand I command my spirit, and he died. Yes, he did. My God. And that wasn't the end. That's right. But my Bible say, on the third day. Come on, come on. On the third day. Yes, when the enemy thought they had won. When they had began to party and celebrate, God, Jesus. God got up out of the grave. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Bible say he descended at the right hand of the Father and said, when you need me, Mother, he say, call me. I'm not hard of hearing. I don't slumber, not see. I I'll watch over you even when the children ain't around. I'll make sure you took it care of. Yes, he will. God say, if you but turn your life around and return to me. I will forgive you. Amen. 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 It's up to you. Amen. It is up to you. My part is done. Amen. My part is done. Thank you, Lord. My brother's part is done. This chapter, Amen. this book has been Thank closed. Yes. Now it's up to every individual when you walk out of this door. That's right. What are you going to do? My God. Amen. With Hallelujah. the time that you have left. That's right. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Before oh, I have them come on up. I didn't think I would be able to do anything today, Mother. I had COVID and it beat me bad. My brother texted me and asked me, could I do it? And at first I said, I don't think I can do it. I thought about it later. I said, you know what? If I don't go and just say a few words, I think that'll be all right. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mother, from my heart, God bless you. God bless you. Yes. At this time, I'd like to have our Paul Bearers come up, please. All Paul Bearers, from back in the program. John Mr. I would like to come up, please. All Paul Bearers, please. Good. We're going to be all Paul Bearers. Can we 
um, a fan of the family of Carrie and the Flowers. We love Carrie and the Flowers. All ball for her, just general number one more. Congregation and family, please stand. All phone barrels. Battery 90%. Connected to Galaxy S10. 